What's up everyone? In this video we are going to take an up close yet quick look at Intel's new powerhouse top of the line flagship CPU on their mainstream platform, the Core i9-9900K. We are going to put the 9900K right up against the previous mainstream flagship, the 8700K, to see what type of performance advantages it may be able to offer and hopefully answer the question, who exactly did Intel build this new CPU for? Now before anyone starts freaking out and says you can't compare a super expensive 8 core 16 thread Core i9 CPU to a less expensive 6 core 12 thread Core i7 CPU, yeah actually I can because I can do whatever I want. Seriously though, I actually think this is a useful comparison because it should give you an idea of any generational performance advantages that may be available by moving from the previous flagship, the 8700K, to the current flagship, the 9900K, even though they have different core counts and very different price points. The Core i9-9900K is an absolute beast of a CPU with 8 cores and 16 threads, a base frequency of 3.6 GHz and a max turbo boost of a whopping 5 GHz. There's 16 megabytes of smart cache and native DDR4 memory support up to 2666 megahertz. Much like the 8th generation core processors, the new 9th generation is built on the same 14 nanometer manufacturing process that has been around since Sky Lake, albeit updated and refreshed. This also means that it includes the same 16 PCI Express lanes and socket 1151 compatibility. And yes, this CPU will work on existing Z370 motherboards with a BIOS update and of course the all new Z390 platform as well. Intel's marketing department decided to kick things up a few notches for their shiny new top of the line 9th generation CPU. Gone is the typical and super uncool cardboard CPU box. Finally, you know, I was always so embarrassed walking out of the computer store every time I bought a new CPU with that super mainstream looking cardboard box. Oh no, not anymore. This new Core i9-9900K comes in this super futuristic looking polyhedron looking plastic box type of thing that really does make you feel better about yourself after dropping a fat stack of cash on a brand new CPU. How much does this new top of the line 9th gen part cost exactly? That would be an eye-watering 580 US dollars at the time of launch or just thereafter, which by the way is a little bit higher than Intel's suggested retail price of about 490 US dollars. Hopefully the initial hype for this new CPU wears off a little bit and we start to see these things come down closer to MSRP in the near future. So at this point, I think everyone's got a pretty good idea what the new 9900K is all about. So let's jump right into the performance testing. Check this out. Unsurprisingly, or maybe surprisingly, depending on what you thought was going to happen, the 9900K does offer a decent performance boost over the 8700K in creativity or productivity based workloads due to the extra cores and threads. And also unsurprisingly, those extra cores and threads don't offer as much of a performance boost over the 8700K in gaming especially at higher resolutions where the task becomes a lot more GPU bound. So back to the original question, who is this CPU for? We just saw that it provides top level gaming and content creation performance. So does that mean it's for hardcore gamers that also do some content creation on the side? Yeah, I mean, I guess that makes sense, but there's one problem, price. 
Intel chose to price this CPU so damn high that it basically becomes a niche product and sits at a level all on its own. For people that want the absolute best gaming processor in the world, and also a processor that's really good at content creation, all wrapped up in one single package. And of course, none of that seems to stop Intel from claiming that the 9900K is the flat out fastest gaming CPU to have ever existed. And I mean, technically they're right. The problem is it's just not that much faster than the previous fastest CPU in the world for gaming, the 8700K. And that CPU just happens to be widely available and much, much better priced. For most users, the Core i7-8700K is going to continue to be the better option, even though it has been dethroned by the 9900K, because it just offers a much better price to performance ratio overall in most cases. But for the hardcore enthusiast that's after the biggest, baddest, fastest gaming CPU to have ever existed, the 9900K is the new and undisputed champion. Are you at all curious about whether or not the new Z390 chipset motherboards offer any performance advantages for the 9900K over the existing Z370 boards, such as the one that I used in this video? What about overclocking? Are you curious just how far we can push the 9900K before it goes into nuclear catastrophic meltdown? If so, you might want to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming content. If you're looking at purchasing some new hardware, hit the links down here in the description of this video. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up on your way out. See ya!